Hey, good morning, guys. What's going on today? This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, just turning on to Park Road 4. It is 9.05 a.m. Central Standard Time, 48 top up degrees. For those of you that have a convertible, you know what I mean, but the top up. It's not only cold, it's damp, damp, damp. Had a little misty rain earlier, but it stopped. I was going to go walking around my area, but <clears throat> a little too cool and damp for old dad. I uh, guarantee you that. I could have gone, but I didn't. As you get older, your ability to resist certain viruses are difficult. But anyway. I'm on my way to Lowe's, do my walking again, which is exciting, I know, try to control your emotions. And uh, posted a video this morning about uh, the Elio vehicle. I love that little old thing, I hope they produce it. Anyway, enough said about that. <clears throat> Park Road 4, Central Texas, USA, fixing to go up over the big hill and go to Lowe's. So, here we go. Hang on, boy, this is a roller coaster here. So, um, you know, I, get, I got a lot of comments, and I get a lot of uh, comments related to, you know, van camping. Of course, I've looked at vans and different things, done videos about the new vans. And, uh, you know, I guess what I can talk about this morning is something that's on my mind. <clears throat> which I will talk about for sure. You know, van camping is, and I just watched a video from Enigmatic Nomadics. You know, they do a lot of that kind of stuff. And I've watched several of their videos related to van camping or living in a van, basically living in a van. Most of their videos are for people that have chosen a lifestyle of living in a van conversion that they've done themselves where they've added solar and a lot of other stuff and that's my point in this video you know I go camping in my Toyota Prius I've got a 2013 package too and I like it you know I mean of course for me now, a lot of people wouldn't do like me I don't cook I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, some cooking not cooking actually but I'm, I'm taking a little burner <clears throat> that y'all have seen me do some videos on probably and I'm going to take that to warm water and warm stuff. But as far as any exotic cooking, you know, building a campfire or doing all that crap, I'm not going to do that. I never have. Don't choose to. I don't care about building a campfire. You know, it's just, it just causes a multitude of problems for me. And uh, But camping in a Prius, I mean, the way I do it for me, again, this is a selfish little video, uh, I take the minimum. I take the minimum stuff and I noticed that all the people almost without exception that are dwelling or living traveling camping in vans take a lot of stuff I mean they got a lot of pots and pans of course they're living in it that's probably their only abode so maybe that's the difference but you know I've got my home base where all my stuff is and I guess if I had to really pack all, everything I owned into a van, then I would probably end up with a lot of stuff. Maybe. I doubt it. Knowing me, uh, it wouldn't take me long to trim that thing down to one pot, one pan, one knife, one fork, one spoon, one plate, one glass to drink out of, and that's it. And as far as cooking, I'd have that little burner. And as far as taking a shower, I'd do just like I do at the Prius. Just take a gallon jug. Now, look, you know, you can take a gallon jug, set it out in the sun for about two hours in the, you know, warm weather, and it works fine. If you do, if it's colder weather, then you got that little burner, and you can heat. You heat one quart <clears throat> to very hot. It doesn't have to be boiling, but very hot and then mix it with three quarts of water and you've got uh, some warm enough water, very warm water, warm enough actually to take a good comfortable 
shower and you can do it with uh, you know wash rags you know wet the wash rag and put it on your you know wipe the places and then throw the wash rag away that's what I do when I when I do the horse bath what I call it uh, I, I buy a big stack of those washcloths at Walmart you can buy like 18 of them three dollars maybe less I don't know they have sales on them all the time you can get a big package of them virtually nothing and I'll buy them as I'm traveling. If I start to run out, I'll just go into Walmart and buy a handful again. And uh, you know, it costs you about t ten cents a shower, fifteen cents a, a bath. To, you know, just take the uh, washcloth and wash. You know, start from the top down. You know, and, and get the the worst spots last. You know what I mean? And uh, then just throw the wash rag away. Don't worry about saving it, and washing it, and all that crap. Pull out. You just have a bunch of odor in your car you don't need. <clears throat> and that's one way to do it. That's one way to take a shower. Another way uh, that I've done is, uh, you know, I've got a little pot and I just pour the warm water into the pot and then you can just take your hands and splash it on your face, on your hair, under your arms, everywhere, and uh, then towel dry and you're good. I mean, I guarantee you I've done it for a month and I didn't have any fungus or infection or chafe spots or any stuff like that so you know of course you know would that get old after a year you know again once you get into a routine you know that that is the way it is you know i mean i live in a 26 foot rv and i swear there's a lot of millions of people that would just scoff at the idea of oh no i could never live in a spot that small or those little fragile things i just couldn't do it well you know, I, I probably said the same thing when I was living in a five-bedroom, three-house with a five-bedroom, three-bath home with a swimming pool and all the other stuff that I had that I didn't need. And, uh, you know, cars and boats and shit. Yeah, get out of here. I don't even know who that guy was. He died. He died. He died. You know, he, he's dead and gone. He's been gone for 20-something years. And good good riddance. I have no desire to have a big house or a big apartment or any of that crap anymore, but that's just me. But back to the comparison between, say, car camping, in my case, Prius, car, Prius camping, as compared to van camping, <clears throat> I, would, I wouldn't gain a thing. See, with van, to run your... <clears throat> your little refrigerator and a fan and stuff, you gotta have a, a solar power. And you can do the little suitcase things or you can mount it on the roof, whatever you choose to do, you still gotta have it or should have it. In the Prius, I've got air conditioning and heat available all the time uh, because the, the Prius is a hybrid. You know, it's electric and gas. It's got, it's, they always say it's the world's best electric generator and it really is because I have run the air conditioner several hours <clears throat> many nights camping when it's warm I usually turn the AC off after midnight about one or so in the morning when it gets cool and uh, that's all you need you know you can run it run your AC from about <clears throat> for me I usually go to bed about nine a little after sunset and I'll run the air conditioner till about well, until it cools down outside, you know, because the air conditioner, what will happen is, if you set the air conditioner on 72 degrees and the temperature outside gets down to 68 or 66, then all you're going to have running is the fan. The air conditioner will stop cutting on in the prison because you've got a thermostat that is monitoring the temperature. And uh, so that's great. You know, in my opinion, that's 10 times better than living in a van. It is. And heat the same way. You just set it on whatever you want. If it's a cold night, the coldest night I've been is about 10 or 12. Well, excuse me. I think it's like 18 or 19 degrees in Cresto, Colorado one time when I was there. And I just hit the little blue button, put the engine in the start position, set the thermostat at 66. That's about as you set it at 65, and then it drops to low, which basically cuts the heat off. But I set it on 66 and was extremely comfortable while I, you know, got up and did my morning ablution, you know, washed my face, brushed my teeth, put on my clothes, and then, of course, once I get everything on, well, I'm good to go, you know? So, but, anyway, this video is just comparing, you know, van camping to car camping. Uh, if, you, if you just have a regular gasoline car, not a hybrid, then, you know, you, you probably 
might want to take a hard look at a van if you need that extra room and stuff because you, you, you just got a gasoline engine in both of them. You don't have the hybrid uh, electric generator. And that is a big plus in a Prius. Now, as far as cost, you know, you can get a good used Prius. You know, right now, mine's a 2013, and they sell from anywhere from, say, twelve five to 14000 That's a 2013. <clears throat> you could get a, uh, say, a 2007, 2008 uh, for a lot less. But one thing I would recommend there, if you can, you know, they've got Generation 1, 2, 3. Mine is Generation 3. I would recommend, if you can, to get a Generation 3. I think the Generation 3 started in 2010, and uh, they made a lot of changes that, that were beneficial. I don't know exactly what all of them are, I just remember reading about it. But yeah, if you went down to a 2010 right now, you're probably looking at about 10,000 for a good one. And uh, then you could, go, you could go on that, it doesn't matter. I mean, I looked at the maintenance requirements on a Prius, and for the first 120,000 miles, the only thing you do is change the oil, the engine air filter, the cabin air filter, of course, tires as you need them. And that's it. You know, there's no belts or hoses or anything that's changed in the first 120,000 miles. And then at 120,000 miles, they change the spark plug. And of course, every time you go in, they're checking the belts and hoses and so forth, the brakes and so forth. And it's low, you know, but again, I'm, I'm going to keep this Prius. I plan to, even though I'm, I'm always looking at other options. Because I go, I mean, I like going camping in the Prius. It's easy, cheap. It's got a lot of flexibility. Now, as far as going boondocking, you kind of have to be careful because you've got low clearance, low ground clearance. I've done it, and I've gotten on some rough roads that you really had to go slow on, and I did, not in a hurry. But here we are at 281. For all you guys that are subscribers and so forth, you've probably seen this a thousand times, I've said, and I've said that a thousand times. <clears throat> but anyway, for van camping, in fact, there is a, I wish I could remember the name now. <clears throat> there was a comment this morning from one of the uh, viewers that they have a, uh, <clears throat> a 1998 van conversion for sale for 4000 bucks. It's in the Las Vegas area, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, <clears throat> I asked them to send some uh, pictures, and when I get them, I'll do another video to update you on it because, you know, if you can get a 1998 for 4000 you know, a 1998 van by itself costs you, you know, in reasonable condition, 2000 2500 And, uh, you know, with the additions of solar and some other things, you know, 4000 would probably be a good fair price because that stuff, doing all that stuff on the inside takes a lot of time. And, you, and for me, I don't know that I'd want to fool with it, get too old. You know, they all say, well, it's all in your mind. You know, getting older is in your mind. Well, I got some news for you, folks. <laughs> it is and it ain't. Now, you can think young. You know, you can think a lot of young thoughts, which is wonderful. But the reality is you better not get out there and try to climb a tree, okay? You just better not try it. And the next thing you better not try is jumping up out of a chair and taking off running. You better not do that. So, here we are in Central Texas, USA, for all you people that stumbled into this. This is Highway 281, it goes to San Antonio and up to Killeen and so forth. This is kind of a snowbird route going down to the valley, coming from whatever areas they come from. And it's getting to be that time of the year. After Thanksgiving, we get the first flock of snowbirds. And then after Christmas, we get the remainder. Get a lot of them over where I live. There's a place called uh, 
part of Texas Lake Resort, which is about a half mi or a mile from where I live. And uh, they get a lot in there. Some of them have been coming there for 25 years. But I can see how cold weather would would uh, get on your nerves as you get older because I've noticed I'm getting less and less tolerant of cold weather. Right, right now it's 48. I've got a, a jacket, long pants, and stuff. And I still feel my hands feel cold. That's why I didn't go walking outside. I could have bundled up like I used to and put on my gloves and stuff and my little head cover and away I go. But uh, nope, 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 nope. Not when I can go into lows and walk in good warmth and in the summer and air conditioned comfort if I want to. You know, I even do that when I'm traveling. If I'm a uh, say in somewhere in New Mexico or wherever and I get up in the morning and it's already starting to get you know a little too warm to go exercise and there's a large city within 100 miles on my way uh, I'll just drive to there and go in and go walking for 45 minutes it's like I'm at home and that's something else you, know, you got to remember when you're camping or traveling is you know, remember what you did, your routine was when you're at home, and as best you can mimic that. You know, like if you read at a certain time or take a nap at a certain time, try to continue to do it. it makes the trip more enjoyable. I do. Does that make does that make it right? Because I do it. No. It makes it right for me. Gray day in Central Texas, USA, but I feel pretty good, and life is okay so far. Christmas is coming. What do y'all think about Christmas? Y'all gonna have a big Christmas tree and have the grandkids over and open gifts? We used to do all that stuff years ago. Have gifts wrapped, have them all piled up under the Christmas tree. And all the gift wrapping immediately went on the floor and eventually in the trash. All the little boxes and stuff was wrapped in ended up in the trash. And in fact, the day after Christmas, you can go by people's homes and the front yard will be littered with garbage. <clears throat> it's an interesting time of the year. It's for young, it's for kids, actually, in my opinion. I don't think adults get much out of it, other than get frustrated. Kids look forward to it. I know, I guess I did, even though I never got anything super for Christmas that I can recall. It was just a good time of year. You know, you got out of school for two weeks, and got to run all over the countryside where I lived out in the country, and just free as a bird. We had a Christmas tree, all that stuff. Mother cooked a lot. And smelled, the whole house always smelled good. So Christmas was an interesting time when I was young, but now it's just another day. Just another day. Gas prices right now are $1.86. $1.86 for unleaded regular. It's 20 cents higher than it was a few days ago because that's the Saudis are trying to get back into manipulating the price of oil. And, they, you know, they'll manipulate a little bit. That's all they got. And you can't sell sand yet. Maybe you will win these days. The same way in, out in Odessa, Texas, and Midland, that's just sandy, nothing soil out there. Here we are at Lowe's. Another thing I like about a Prius is they're so damn quiet. No engine, not all the time, but on a parking lot like this, the engine won't even cut on. How far can you go in my Prius on all electric? About two miles, three miles. Not very far. 
but it goes back and forth between electric and gas all the time, even on the highway. But anyway, folks, uh, y'all have a good day. I plan to. I'm here where I want to be. I'm going to back into a spot I don't like. I don't like to have to pull out. I, did, I finished my defensive driving deal on the internet and got my little certificate, so that's good. Get my discount on my auto insurance. And uh, one of the things I learned, I'll mention it before I end this video, uh, one, one of the, the uh, largest number of accidents for people over the age of 60 occur at intersections. That's interesting, and I, I do believe that, and it's because you can't, you, it's a lot of things going on, whether it's a four-way regular stop or a traffic light, and intersections and intersections, so older folks like me, 71, I just have to remember to, to triple check and, uh, and not do so damn many things. You know, of course, I do videos as I'm driving, and is that distracting? Not really, because you know, I focus straight ahead. I don't need to look and see what it's, it's recording. Uh, but, uh, but you know, there are a lot of distractions that you can do in cars and texting is the worst. No kidding. And, uh, but anyway, having said all that guys, y'all have a good day. I'll have a good day. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Take some deep breaths. Stretch. Stand up, walk around, do whatever you can, wherever you are, to stay healthy. So, bye from Central Texas, USA. Christmas is coming, the lights are on the tree. <laughs>